All right, and we used to drive. My mother used to drive an ambassador car in the 80s. Who remembers ambassador car? But you all are so young. <laughs> History Channel, History Channel, very good. So ambassador gadi is basically a uh, huge car like that, like a truck. You press the brake here in Delhi, and it stops in Jaipur. That's how the car used to work. My mother used to drive it, and uh, we used to go for swimming practice in a place called YMCA in Mumbai. And in this place called uh, Baikala, there were these uh, normal what we call in Mumbai lafangas. I don't know what you call them in Delhi, but they are basically men with no work, which is half a country, wearing track pants and vests, and standing on one hip, asa. And they stare morning to night. Kya? Okay. Okay. What's up? Sorry, hip wala will say what's up? Okay. So they would stand like that, and you don't want to be caught in that area because they're just unfriendly people. And my uh, mom driving the car, the car broke down. Ambassador gadi. My mother did what all women tend to do in those days: pretend to fix it. Open the bonnet, look inside, shut the bonnet. Kuch nahi. Then she tried a local Hindi with uh, Lafanga one and Lafanga two standing there. Baisa, baisa, idhar aao, idhar aao. Jara, please, mujhe piche se dabao. My 55-year-old mother with a big stomach and all that. Suddenly his hip went straight, huh? <laughs> Embarrassing, I was 13 years old, I couldn't deal with it, I had to go to therapy. But not as bad as my Roshan auntie, lovely lady, who every Thursday would take me to Breach Candia Street in Mumbai, which had sandwich sellers from UP, where the language originated from, where Hindi came from. And this poor sandwich wala bichara has not seen his wife for many years, they come and stay for two, three years at a time without meeting the wife. And he's standing there, and Roshan auntie would go up to him and say, Bhai sahab, bhai sahab, aaj mera, dekho, mera do pao ke peech mein kya dalega? Uh, pao is bread, huh? I'm in the, I don't know what it is in the north. And I, I was like, but Roshan auntie, you know, it's very embarrassing. As bad as that is, the worst is my grandmother, who is no more, God bless her. Because every time the doorbell rang, and this is a true story in many Parsi households, the uh, servant would say, Dhobi! And she would shout, Usko bolo, main kapra nikal ke aati hai. <laughs> we had a whole line of Dhobis outside my house when I was a young boy, all clean to meet her. <laughs> Have you guys remember an MTV VJ called Shana's Treasury Wala? Anybody? Uh, we used to call her the MTV Narsima Rao because she used to look like this. Pretty version, very pretty version, but she had that pout. And her Hindi was the worst I have met in anybody who I've worked with in television, films, or anything else, radio, stage, events. Absolutely the worst. Remember Dalair Mendi? Who remembers Dalair Mendi? Come on. Dalair gave us that greatest hit in Hindi music history, which has only one lyric. You remember? For 15 minutes, it says the one line. So we used to travel the whole of Punjab with Dalair's event and we would anchor it and we would, he would perform and then we would go to the next city. Now anybody who knows Punjab knows long drives in the night, not short drives. So from Jalandhar you would go to Patiala, etc, etc, etc. So after one show was over, uh, we went from Jalandhar to Patiala, 4-5 hours by car I think, in the late night. And keep in mind that all females in the modeling and acting world in India have the same diet. They eat apples and they drink bottles of water. That's how they remain uh, 22 inch waist till they are 75 years old. All right? So Shanaz was the same. 10 bottles of water and eating apples. Now what goes in has to come out, ladies and gentlemen. 9 o'clock we leave, 9.30, 10 we leave from one city, say Jalandhar, and we're driving. It's dark on the fields of Punjab and my father has not built uh, toilets for people to go to. I can tell you, I've checked. There's nothing on the fields of Punjab. And she's feeling like going to the toilet because 10 liters of water are inside. And she's asking me, can you ask him? And Bubble Singh, six foot five inch guy who's driving, I'm a little worried to ask him about where to stop. Anyway, she finally can't take it anymore and Shanaz tries her. And I swear by God, I swear my mother, this is absolutely, I'm not making it up. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was sitting in this kind of conversation. She tried her Punjabi. Bubble ji, Bubble ji, Zara, please mujhe susu ka jagar dikhao. He banged the brake. He nearly went through the screen. I covered my face thinking, how fast can I run? He turned back, he looked her up and down and said, Oh, Madam Ji, you can see the first one, I will show I don't know what happened. They have five children, they live somewhere outside Amritsar. I'm not sure, but <laughs> this is the kind of Hindi Parsi speak, all right? I, know, I want to come down and do an experiment because I believe Devnagri script is dead in India. And even whether you're from UP or Rajasthan, where Hindi is a little better, I still feel you suffer. So I'm going to check out your Hindi. Are you ready for that? Can you try that? And we're going to get some wonderful prizes if you do well, given to us by Alto, uh, maybe the car itself. So now, 
Like PT Usha, I will jump. Of course not. <laughs> Please say hi to my beautiful assistant, uh, Madhu Sapre. Madhu, she hasn't had a, a job for the last 12 years. Madhu, no, that's not Madhu. Huh? <laughs> Madhu ji, come. Don't feel embarrassed, Baba. Come. We give her a big hand. Huh? She's only 12 years old. Child labor. No, this is Ashna. Ashna. All right. Whose Hindi is very good? Ah, oh, beta, what is your age? 12 years. Only 12 years? Homework kar kya hai? Huh? No, don't answer. It's okay. <laughs> Two people are leaving the audience already. They don't want to talk. Gu guys, are you all a couple? What's happening? Don't go. No, we'll give you a prize if you stay. Don't answer any questions. Don't hold his hand. Oh, what's happening? Don't break up, yaar. Come back. Bunty, Bunty, come back, yaar. Don't do this. Why are you going? What's the problem? No, nothing. Say the truth, yaar. No problem. <laughs> No girlfriend, Saturday night? No. This is not the story of Delhi, it's India. It's all over the same, don't worry. <laughs>